a shout out to the sponsors of this video relevel relevel is a new program by an academy which has partnered with more than 50 top indian startups these include india's top 5 unicorns cred which offers a ctc of 14 to 16 lakh per annum for back end and front end development razor pay which is hiring for back end development roles and offers a ctc of 20 to 24 lakh per annum urban company offers a package of 3 to 6 lakh per annum for business development roles 1mg which is another unicorn hiring for back end development role and the ctc here is 10 to 30 lakh per annum digit which is one of the largest insurance providers is hiring for front end and back end developers at a ctc of 2 to 7 lakh per annum at tree level no one cares about your college and your degree you get job solely based on your skills here is how to do it go to relevel.com book a slot take a test of your choice once you receive your score make your candidate profile relevel would guide you through this process and you're done now companies would contact you for interviews based on your scores you can get a 100% refund of your registration fee if you get placed through relevel relevel is all set to conduct its first test very soon Don't worry the registrations are still open you can take the test at the comfort of your home get a 10% discount on your registration fee by using the coupon code planet10 go ahead and register at relevel.com before the slots are full the link is in the description hello welcome back to the series on digital electronics hope you have watched the earlier videos on multiplexer if not do check them out In today's video I'll explain few of the most frequently asked interview questions on the topic multiplexers. Let's get started with the first question. How can you generate logic gates using multiplexers specifically using a 2 is to 1 multiplexer? Let's start with the simplest gate the NOT gate. We all know the truth table of NOT gate is as follows where the output y depends on a single input a. Let us take this input as a select line for our 2 is to 1 multiplexer. as we can see the output y is 1 whenever the input a is 0 so i0 of our multiplexer is 1 similarly the output y is 0 when the input a is 1 so i1 is 0 the 2 is to 1 multiplexer in this configuration behaves as a not gate next is the and gate in the and gate the output y depends on two inputs a and b so we can select either of them to be the select line of our multiplexer however it will be easier if we take the input a as a select line as you can see the two zeros and the two ones in truth table are together so it will make our analysis easier so let's take a as select line now when a is 0 that is in these two conditions the output y is always 0 so i0 is 0 but when a is 1 that is in this condition down here the output y follows b so i1 is b the next gate is the or gate we'll repeat the same procedure take a as select line when a is 0 the output y follows b so i0 is b but when a is 1 the output y is always 1 so i1 is 1 you can pause the video and try for the other gates as well so next is the nand gate again the same procedure let's take a as select line when a is 0 the output is always 1 so i0 is 1 but when a is 1 here you can see that the output is b bar when 0 b is 0 y is 1 when b is 1 y is 0 so i1 is b bar for the nor gate again we take a as select line when a is 0 y is b bar again so i0 is b bar when a is 1 y is always 
So I1 is 0. For the XOR gate, when A is 0, Y is B, but when A is 1, Y is B bar. Notice here that we all know the expression for XOR is A bar B plus AB bar and the expression for a 2 is to 1 multiplexer is select line bar I0 or select line I1. You can see the similarity in these two expressions. So S select line will be A. I0 will be B and I1 will be B bar. So you can approach the diagrammatic representation either using truth table or using logical expressions, whichever you feel comfortable. Writing the Verilog code for generating the gates using multiplexer is also very simple. We just need to instantiate the multiplexer module and give appropriate inputs. I have opened the EDA playground and this is the code for generating our gates using multiplexer. We have instantiated the 2 is to 1 multiplexer and given inputs for the NOT gate. I0 we have given as 1, I1 as 0 and select line as the input A and connected the output. We can do the similar procedure for all the gates. And finally verified the connections. As you can see, when both are 0, not of A is 1, and is 0, or is 0, nor is 1, and is 1, x or is 0, x nor is 1. I verified for all input combinations and the outputs were correct. So we have successfully generated all the gates, basic gates using multiplexer. Let's move on to the next question. How to implement a wider multiplexer using smaller multiplexer? Specifically, how do you implement an 8 is to 1 multiplexer using 2 is to 1 multiplexers? So the requirement is to generate the 8 is to 1 multiplexer with 8 inputs, 3 select lines and 1 output from a 2 is to 1 multiplexer that has 2 inputs, 1 select line and 1 output. So as you see in the requirement, since we have 8 inputs, and our 2 is to 1 multiplexer can take only 2 inputs. We will need 4 such 2 is to 1 multiplexer to take our 8 input data. So here we have 4 2 is to 1 multiplexers. Now we can take 8 inputs and the outputs of these 4 2 is to 1 multiplexers now need to be selected. So we will need 2 2 is to 1 multiplexers. Now from these 2, 1 needs to be selected. So we will need another 2 is to 1 multiplexer, 7 2 is to 1 multiplexers which would be connected as follows. Now the difficult task is to allocate the select lines for our multiplexer tree. The truth table of multiplexer is as follows. We all know that when S0, S1, S2 are 0, 0, 0, the data should be I0. And when it's 0, 0, 001, we need to select I1 and so on. So, when we are writing the select line for this multiplexer tree, notice that this bit that is the MSB is always allocated to the last multiplexer. The reason behind is that as you can see, there is least frequent change in the data inputs at this bit. It is 0 for 4 iterations and 1 for 4 iterations. So once you fix this, then based on the variation in S1 and S0, you can select our input. So once this is fixed, so in these 4 conditions, this will only look at the top part. And in the bottom 4 conditions when it is 1, it will only look at the bottom part. So always remember that the MSB of your select line is given to the last multiplexer or you can remember it as 
the least frequently changing one is given to the last multiplexer so that you can keep it fixed and move on to the next select line. So S2 is given here followed by S1 and then finally your S0. So when S2 is 0, S1 is 0 and S0 is 0 here you will be getting I0. S2 is 0, S1 is 0 and S0 is 1 you will get I1 and so on. Now let us see if we order the select lines differently how it would affect. As I said in the previous slide for the normal operation of a multiplexer we will always select the MSP bit of the select line to this last multiplexer that is S2 goes here. But if we write S0 here S1 here and S0 he S2 here then let's see what happens. So when S0 S1 and S2 all are 0, we will be getting I0. So when S0 is 0, S1 is 0 and S2 is 0, we will get I0. S0 is 0, S1 is 0 and S2 is 1. So that is 1 0 0. That time you will get I1. Zero. S0 zero is 0. S1 is 1. And S2 is 0. That is 0 1 0. You will get I2. one one zero you will get i three zero zero one you will get i four one 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 zero one you will get i five zero one one you will get i six and finally at one 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 you will get i seven So as you can see, the output is not sequential. We have got all the even numbers of inputs at once followed by all the odd numbers. So by ordering our select lines differently, the operation of the multiplexer is not as we expect. The sequence of inputs has changed. So always note that to get the normal operation of multiplexer where we want sequential inputs I0 to I7, we need to select the MSB bit as a select line for the last multiplexer. Let's move on to the next question. Just to confuse you, sometimes they might ask you to implement a smaller multiplexer using a wider multiplexer. Let's say to implement a 2 is to 1 max using a 4 is to 1 max. So the 4 is to 1 max has 4 inputs, 2 select lines and 1 output. But you need to generate a 2 is to 1 max from this. So how would you do that? Since you have only 2 inputs and 1 select line in the 2 is to 1 max, we can short the 2 select lines and give it to a single select line S. And when the select line is 0, that is 0. So S1 and S0 both are 0. So we get 0, 0. Here we give the I0. And when select line is 1, that is both S1 and S0 are 1, you give the I1, your 2 is to 1 multiplexer. We leave these two unconnected because we are never getting this condition as the select lines are shorted. 